When you get a new house, you will always feel excited because it's an opportunity for you to experience a new environment. However, the story is entirely different for this man. Kent had always wanted a quiet, isolated place to call home. When he found an old, rundown property for sale in Carmel, Maine, it seemed perfect. Of course, looking at it, the home looked so decent and serene. However, everything changed in one night. Insert mysterious sound and Kent started hearing odd noises. It was not just that. While he walked around the house, he began to notice strange apparitions appearing in different places in the house. Not only were there odd noises everywhere, but there were times he would hear his name being called out several times. After a while, he began to make some findings about the house, in which he found out that the house was once owned by an undertaker and the residence was used for a funeral home from 1906 to 1919. He created a YouTube channel which he named Ghost of Carmel, Maine, and started posting these mysterious encounters in his home. In one of these investigations, there was an odd voice that seemed to be repeating whatever Kent said. In fact, it almost sounded like the spirit was mocking Kent. You can listen to it again and judge by yourself. Now the whole story is about to get even creepier as he started hearing stranger noises and could smell something odd from his upstairs bedroom. So he picked up his camera and started recording. As he walked through the room, he said, We're going to do a complete walkthrough. Hope you guys say something or do something. He couldn't finish his statement when this happened. Did you see that? Is that a human shadow or some kind of hoax? Let's know in the comment section. While the Kent situation was crazy, things managed to get more intense in this next video. This security footage was captured at an IT park, but the location cannot be disclosed for security reasons. What happened will make your blood run cold. Watch this. Did you see that? A shadow person seems to appear from the left and then throws the man up the wall, then it attempts to drag him away while the man tries to free himself. Lucky, right? Let's take a closer look. It all started with this man taking a walk through a park, but something seemed to be following him. While it is normal for our shadows to follow us anywhere we go, this particular one seems unusual. The man seemed to notice something unusual, so he looked back to find the unusual shadow, but he wasn't fast enough. The shadow disappeared. He continued with his walk, believing it was just him overthinking. Anyone would have thought the same. But in a few minutes, he would discover that this was no ordinary shadow. He continued walking until he got to the corridor where he suddenly got dragged by this shadow. After this mysterious event, it is guaranteed that this man would never step into this IT park again. What happened to him on that day would always send a chill through his spine simply because of how mysterious it was. Everyone must have heard about the Bloody Mary in one way or another. But have you heard about a real-life situation involving Bloody Mary? According to the legend, it is believed that if a person stares at a mirror in a dimly lit room and chants Bloody Mary over and over again, the angry spirit of Bloody Mary would appear over them and try to take away their soul. Sounds scary, right? Some people who attempted the ghostly experiment claim to have actually noticed a face, a shape or a shadow behind them in the mirror. Be that as it may, some skeptical people tend to believe that these reports were just as a result of power of superstitions or overactive imaginations. But then, there is this strange video. Some teens decided to record their own Bloody Mary challenge. At first, the whole thing started out as a joke, with none of them believing that this would turn into anything serious. Then they began their experiment, with each of them chanting Bloody Mary into the mirror. Well, nothing happened but they tried again, and this time everyone moved closer to the mirror. And this was where things got a little strange. Then this happened. By the final time, these teens flicked the light off, and whatever the shadow might be, it seemed to be spreading up, all the way up to the ceiling. No one knew if the shadow continued to spread, as this experiment was too real for the teens to wait and see. They were all frightened, and ran away for their dear lives. Real or hoax? 
This next video seems to be the most terrifying so far. Ryan and his friend, Trent, did a ghost investigation on the supposedly haunted ghost on a trestle railroad bridge in Adrian, Michigan. They had done their research. The legend varied, but the core of the story remained the same. It is said that the bridge and the railroad tracks are haunted by the ghost of a woman and her child who were struck down by a moving train. It was also mentioned in this statement in an old newspaper. The legend that gets passed around are about events that supposedly took place in the late 1800s. One evening, a farmer's barn caught fire. As he went out to attempt to squelch the flames, his wife, carrying their baby, ran to the railroad tracks in order to flag down a train for help. Approaching the rails, she tripped, fell onto the tracks, and both she and the infant were killed by the train. To add insult to injury, the farmer wound up dying in the barn fire. The statement also says, It's rumored that nowadays the farmer's ghost haunts the area, and when you visit the trestle, you can hear the screams of the mother and cries of the infant. People have reported car trouble if they park under the bridge as well as problems with electrical or battery-operated items like cameras and recorders. But during their own investigations, Ryan and Trent caught something on their camera. While they were doing this, one of them screamed after he felt someone touching his shoulder. Of course it wasn't his friend. But the most mysterious piece of paranormal evidence they caught on camera was only fished out after going through their footage later. Just as they were about to leave, they fell back towards the ghost trestle as a truck passed. That was when they caught the last spooky moment on their camera. As at the time the truck was passing over the trestle, it was just Ryan and Trent under the bridge. But while they were editing the footage, they saw something that looked like a shadow walking behind the moving truck. But the shadow seemed to instantly vanish into thin air. As this figure passed, the truck's brake lights were not in any way dim or obscure, but suddenly the figure behind it just seemed to vanish. If you believe this figure might be some kind of random pole or a barricade under the bridge, drive back and you will find out there is no visible obstruction or any type of pole that would cast the strange shadow. So what could this figure be? While the authenticity of this last video could be debated because it happened at night, this next video looks scarier as it happened during the day. In this footage, the clip starts with two motorcycles riding down a road. Once the two zoom past, at the top right corner, a shadow can be seen casually walking across the road. As this clip continues, cars can be seen driving straight at this mysterious being who doesn't look panicked at all. But let's take a closer look at this clip. This doesn't look normal because more than one car drove through this figure and it kept walking to the other side of the road, undisturbed. What are your thoughts about this? Do you think it's real? Or it's just a kind of hoax made to terrify people? However, things are about to get more intense in this next video. Wesley Wolf, on his birthday, had been out drinking with his friends. When he returned home early on Friday morning, he realized he had been locked out of his parents' home. He didn't want to wake his parents up, so he decided to stay outside and play some video games on his PlayStation Vita. That way, he also got to enjoy the fresh air outside after a busy night with his friends. Then something strange happened. Wesley started hearing the neighborhood dogs barking continuously over something he seemed not to understand. Then he decided to record a video of the field around his parents' house to see if he could find or discover anything the dogs might be barking at. He did capture something, but it was something more mysterious than he expected, something that would make him feel more sober, perhaps. Even though Wesley didn't notice this figure after recording, as soon as he was done recording, he began to feel scared. He perceived something wasn't normal about the environment he was in. He immediately ran to the door of his house to knock on the door until one of his parents woke up and let him in. Could this be some kind of reflection of the light? Or could it be that Wesley drank so much during his birthday party? Or is this actually a real shadow being? But why were the dogs barking? These are questions yet to be answered. Try not to scream when you see this next video. In summer 1991, a 15-year-old boy from Barnby Road, Bradford, Adam Mawson, out of curiosity, decided to use a camcorder to record his house whenever there was no one at home. He wanted to document some strange happenings which had been taking place in the house lately, but he wasn't expecting what he saw. Adam played one of the tapes he had been using for recording. Everything seemed normal until he discovered something terrifying, which gave him cold feet immediately. A shadowy figure could be seen emerging from the chair. When you look closely, 
you will see how it rises from the chair and moves aimlessly around the room. It passes behind the doorframe, then returns, before it eventually disappears through the wall. But that wasn't all. Some moment later, another figure pops in and follows closely behind the other, into the same wall. According to Adam, he was so scared and kept asking himself if he had really seen those things. He said he showed the tape to his parents, and his mum said they've seen it before. This only means that the incident wasn't happening for the first time. To a journalist and author, Alexis Brooks, insert image, it sounds like a classic haunted house tape. She mentions that, Barmby Place ranks among one of the most haunted places that I have ever seen. I mean, you're talking about disembodied voices, doors opening, closing on their own, and even what I would call a shadow person phenomenon. Adam's father, who still remains in the house, claimed the activities of these mysterious shadow figures have died down since he found himself a religion. Does this mean that everything happening in the house was spiritual? Video analyst and expert Michael Primo carried out an authenticity check on the digitized copy of the footage. According to him, he couldn't identify it as an actual ghost while carrying out the forensics testing, but he said it could be the product of during the time the video was processed between the time it was produced on tape to the digital version, some sort of artifact that is concealed as the object travels by, but he doesn't really believe it's CGI. It means the footage wasn't manipulated intentionally. But could it have happened accidentally? Michael Primo said that the shadow figures didn't seem like something that was introduced or added into the recording based on the artifact which was present throughout its movement, and because the shadowy figures could be seen over several seconds in multiple instances, it's more of something that actually took place in the video images. With this analysis, can we admit it's a ghost or not? A well-known researcher and physicist gives his own opinion. He suspects something shady. According to him, in the footage, there were some pixel darkening on the left that would seem to indicate the shadow goes over the wall as it is expected of a normal shadow being cast by someone off camera. It does not fully explain all the subtle motion that is seen, such as when the shape rises out of the chair, but it's the most plausible non-ghost explanation he could come up with. This event has resulted in intense arguments on social media. Some believe it's fake and was just made up to create fear while others believe it's real. What are your thoughts about this? The shadow in this next video looks obvious and scarier. A YouTuber and his girlfriend returned from a night out. Everything seemed normal until the girlfriend found the fridge door closing on its own. It was strange because no one was home except the two. The paranormal activities in the house scared the couple, but what scared and shocked them even more was what the camera caught. While they were moving the camera around the house to capture any paranormal activities, their camera captured a figure in a corner. They didn't notice, but it's obvious in this replay. Seeing shadows is scary on its own, but having them engage you just like it happened in this next video takes the phenomenon to a higher level. This CCTV in which this footage was captured was grainy, flickering as if the camera itself were nervous about what it was witnessing. A man in a hoodie walked briskly down the corridor. At first, everything seemed normal, just an ordinary moment in an ordinary hallway. But then something shifted. A shadow, darker than the gloom around it, began to stretch along the walls, as though it had detached itself from the objects casting it. It slithered toward the man, unnoticed, as if it were a part of the very darkness that cloaked the space. Without warning, the shadow moved, fast, like a predator striking, the man jerked, stumbling forward as if something unseen had latched onto him. Then it happened. His right leg was yanked from beneath him, his body crashing onto the cold floor. He gasped, his hands clawing at the slick surface as he tried to push himself up. But the shadow moved again, this time more aggressively, wrapping around his right leg and dragging him backward. The footage showed no clear attacker, only the man's body being pulled along the corridor inch by inch as if by an invisible hand. And then, as suddenly as it had begun, the shadow released him. The man, with his chest heaving, eyes wide with fear, ran for his dear life. The footage shows how the shadow vanished, retreating back into the stillness of the corridor. Here, the footage was zoomed for better view. No one knows if this man got to report his experience later on, 
but it would be one of his most scary moments on Earth. Do you think it's some kind of editing, or it actually happened? Where did the shadow come from? Was it the first time it would appear? There are several questions which are yet to be unraveled. 